the power that he would make available for us to produce healing is the healing anointing. It's the healing anointing. That is the power that was available in Luke chapter 5. When the Bible said, and the power of God was present to heal. Hallelujah. To heal. Let me start by saying here, that when we think about healing, and we need to get this in this generation like no man's business. When we talk about healing, we're not just talking about the healing of the body as it is. There is the healing of the mind. In fact, when Jesus read Isaiah chapter 61 that day, he said he has anointed to preach the good news. He has also anointed me to heal the broken hearted. Did you notice that? To heal the broken hearted. So there is some kind of ministry of healing that can come over depression. Some, yeah, yeah, some, some kinds of the ministry of healing that can come over schizophrenia. We even saw Jesus heal the madman of gatherings. Are you here today? I'm just opening your heart to the fact that what we have is so massive that there is so much it can do if we deploy it. So that is the power made available to heal the sick. Now, so if Jesus says, heal the sick, he is also saying, I have given you the power to do so. If he says, heal all manners of disease, he is saying that you, you, you have what it takes. But guess what? Let me, let me take this one step further. I, I found out through scriptures, right? That if we will make disciples of nations, then we will need to do evangelism the way Jesus did it. If we're going to find the nations and bring power of God over the nations and have men come to Christ, then we will need to do the ministry of evangelism the way Jesus did it. You will find out that almost everywhere Jesus, no, no, not almost, everywhere Jesus preached, he healed someone. In fact, there was a meeting. He said they did not believe to be healed, yet he healed a few diseases. It, it, it characterized this ministry. Let me say this, friends. Uh, we are in that season as a ministry where we know we should disciple the nations. Uh, and you and I know we don't start discipling the nations uh, except we preach the gospel, except we, we win souls. Listen to me. If we don't take the healing anointing with us uh, in the journey of soul winning, we will be limited. We will be limited. How come you come to a crusade and you are, you are wondering what, 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 what has this man preached? And then he says, if you want to receive healing, show up. And you find people healed. I've been in places. I, I didn't like large gatherings. Thank God for Global Harvest. I didn't like large gatherings. I would like to, to just watch somewhere from afar. But I remember sitting in the stadium, Choir State Stadium some years ago, and Renan Bonke was in town. He, he, he had just led a, one line of worship, and then I saw a woman beside me stand up from her wheelchair, examining the wheelchair pushed it backwards, uh, began to stretch her leg. Not a word of the sermon had been heard. Uh, the power of God was available to heal uh, because when God wants to us to evangelize the word, uh, he's not just going to do so with money in our pocket, but the anointing in our hands. 